So we're trying to find the work needed to build this cement column, uh, where the radius is 2 meters, the height's 10 meters, and the density of the cement is 1,500 kilograms per cubic meter. So the thing to remember here is that work is force times distance, is how we find it, but we're imagining that all the cement has to be lifted from the ground. And so the very, very beginning of the column, sort of that very first little slab of cement, requires essentially no work to, to install, because you just have to dump the cement there. But as this column starts getting taller, then this, to add this next little bit of cement to the, to the column, is going to require more work, because you have to lift it a certain distance. And so we're going to imagine, suppose that I've already built this thing up y meters. Uh, so I've already built y meters of the, of the uh, column, and now I'm going to lift this, this little slice up to the, up to its location. So I'm going to add the next little layer of cement. So in order to figure out um, how much mass this slice has, Uh, we can take the density, right, which is the 15 kilograms per cubic meter, and we can multiply it by a number of cubic meters, which would be the volume of this slice. So looking at this, we know that the radius of the entire column is 2 meters, so the radius of this slice is 2 meters as well. So the surface area would be pi times the radius squared, and then the thickness here, right, to make it into a volume, the thickness here is some little change of y. And now, if we're being formal, we would use delta y here, and then, you know, set up a summation and take the limit, but we're going to be a little sloppy here. So pi times r squared times dy is giving me the volume of the slice. We're multiplying that by the density of the slice to get the mass of the slice. And now we can ask how much work is required to lift that one slice. So the force on this object, force here is going to be mass times the only thing acting on it here, acceleration-wise, which is gravity. And for gravity, when we're working in metric, is well, we're going to use 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. And so the work here, the force, is going to be gravity times the mass. So 9.8 times 1,500 times pi times 2 squared dy. So that's all force. And we're going to multiply that by the distance that this slice is being lifted. Now in this case, because it this uh, y meters of the column have always already been built, the distance we have to lift this slice is just y. Now, with all that done, now that we have this formula for the work to lift this one slice, we can ask what is the work to, what is the total work to build the entire column. And for that, we're just going to add up all these individual slices. And when we're talking about super tiny little slices, we are talking about an integral. So we're going to integrate this. So we've got 9.8 times 1,500 times, I'm going to move this y in front here so that my dy will be at the end, because that's where I like it. And we're going to add this up for all slices from this very first slice, when y is equal to 0, up to this very last slice, when y is equal to 10. And that integral will give me the total work to build this column.